you need to be bold to race a 10K. It's called the Boulder Boulder for a reason. It takes dedication and sacrifice. It's probably not a coincidence that the Boulder Boulder takes place on Memorial Day, a day which is meant to recognize sacrifice. The race meanders through Boulder and the entire city comes out for it. There are elite runners and hobby joggers and spectators. It's an incredible vibe and a celebration of summer. But this is definitely the type of race you want to go into, trained, tapered, and with a bunch of excuses ready to go. It's certainly not the fastest 10K. It's at altitude, there are multiple hills, the climb into the stadium is massive, Maybe not as massive as Heartbreak Hill, but it's kind of like a Heartache Hill, or a Heart Palpitation Hill, or a Flutter Hill. There are a lot of distractions on the course, so it takes real mental fortitude to stay focused. You gotta keep your eye on the prize, and also your watch, to make sure you're hitting your splits. Entering Folsom Stadium is nothing short of epic. It's kind of how I imagine running in the Olympics, which I could do if not for any number of excuses. One cool thing about living in Boulder is that you get to run alongside professional runners and Olympians. Well, usually not alongside, more like behind. Running is special in that you get to run the same course on the same day with the best of the best. And today, the pro wave goes off two hours after I do. So yeah, I finished before the pros. One thing that surprised me was how many people were sacrificing their race times to just enjoy the moment and soak in the experience and have fun. People were enjoying the day off, laughing, interacting with spectators and volunteers. And I look at everyone out there enjoying themselves and I can't help but think why are they even allowed into the race? On a day that recognizes sacrifice, I hope that everyone takes a moment to recognize how much runners everywhere sacrifice to finish races faster. Let me put it to you this way. Ask yourself, would the world be a better place if more people could go sub 40 in the 10K?